G to the R to the E to the A to the T. Morning, Wednesday, afternoon, evening. If you didn't catch it, I spelled out great. Welcome to another week. Today we're going to be talking about why I hate or dislike it when people say that they are a perfectionist and what that does to most people. Here we go. Yup, we're all up and close and personal today, all up in my space. So here we go. All right, so we've all been to interviews, and you know, one of the popular interview questions, at least back in the day, was when, when they talked about what's your strengths or your weaknesses. And sometimes for the strengths question, people would say, uh, I'm a perfectionist. And that answer literally makes me cringe. Because I believe that one of the main things that are crippling most of us, or crippling most people from starting or doing or accomplishing anything, is trying to be perfect. So, one of the popular school of thoughts these days, or one of the popular quotes, or one of the things that I've heard is, if you're not embarrassed by your first product, your first iteration, or or the first thing that you create, You've waited long enough. Now, why do we wait so long to start things or 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 create something new or, or to release certain things? It's because of judgment. We don't want to be judged. We we don't want people to look at our first product and judge us for not being enough or or or, or not living up to a certain standard. So think about it when I first started my first YouTube videos. I was I was in the living room, you know, no lighting, no background, none of this cool stuff. But I remember the quote that said, if you're not embarrassed by your first product, you waited too long enough. And I started anyway. I got started and I said, I'm just going to start and I'll get better as I go along. And as you can see, I've evolved a little bit since that time. So for you, what is it that you're not starting because you want it to be perfect? Is there like a certain business or a certain degree or a certain goal or anything in your life? That you're waiting for that perfect moment that, unfortunately, it's never going to happen. There's never a perfect time. There's never a a perfect day. There's never a perfect moment to start or do anything. So we literally just got to get started now. Anytime I'm looking for that perfect moment, I'm like, Bells. I'm like, Daryl, it's never going to be there. So you might as well get started. And that's for videos. That's for for writing a book. That's for getting started working out. That's for trying to eat right. Whatever that is in my life, I realize that there's never going to be a perfect moment. And trying to be a perfectionist is what's killing, is what keeps most people from achieving what they want to achieve. And unfortunately, creates or winds up having a lot of people die with their dreams and their aspirations within them because they're waiting for that perfect moment, which unfortunately never comes. So what is it for you? What do you need to get started on? And what is it that you're trying to be perfect on and you haven't realized yet that that moment isn't going to come? So let's get started today. Let's make it happen. Again, happy Wednesday. Happy midweek, have a great week, and as always, I will meet you at the top, because as you know, the bottom is getting way too crowded, unfortunately. Let's get it, y'all. Peace.